Welcome to my studio. I'm giving this little studio tour for Clownfest. Hopefully it'll be educational and entertaining. So my name's Dan. Uh, I, I also go under Danny Carnage. Uh, I also go under Petrol Horse. I also go under Garbage Snare. Um, I, I think I've gone under other names as well. They're the main ones. Uh, and I make stuff like this. And like this. And occasionally like this. And so yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how. So I, I first got into music when I was really, really young. I uh, started playing guitar. Um, got into kind of metal and punk really young. Then started moving into electronic music a bit uh, when I was kind of in secondary school. I got my first piece of kit was a Yamaha RM1X uh, sequencer with which I created very, very bad music. From there, I kind of, I've done a lot of crossover stuff with like metal and punk and and electronic mashup stuff and industrial. Uh, I still do that stuff, but now I also do techno and, and particularly like acid techno, really fast, hard acid techno. I've played guitar in grindcore bands. I've been a horse um, and yeah. So this is the studio. Um, got my keyboard, synth corner there. Um, guitar amp, lots of cables on the floor. Um, oh, that's where I store printer paper, look. So that's good. Um, I got my PC, I got my uh, KRK monitors, KRK um, headphones right there. Uh, that there is my biggest fan. Uh, I got a, that's obviously I'm watching the video back on that screen, so that's spooky. Uh, a little focus right sound card under there. Um, and then that's my co-producer. Okay, so until very, very recently, this was how I made all of my music in Ableton Live. So this is one of my Acid Techno tracks. We got, we got a kick. This sounds fucking massive. So here is how you do that. What I've got going on here is I've got, I've got like, look at this, I've got four different layers. I honestly don't know what they're all doing. I'm maybe not using all of them. So that's the kick, right? Um, it's compressed to give it more more attack. It's EQ'd to give it a kind of low end boost. Uh, what have I done here? I've monoed it using that utility. We've got a delay. So this delay is being sidechained. So it's saturated, it's EQ'd down, so it's a tiny little band here. And then it, it's being compressed um, by this kick? No, by this one, which is the same but is inaudible. And I'm just using that as a source for sidechains. So it's doing the same pattern as this kick but isn't actually coming through to the mix. It's then also being sidechained by this one, which is the same pattern, but I've just shifted it forward so that it starts. So, so this is, so the first kick on this channel starts here, but that same kick on this channel starts just before the next one, um, because that's just, uh, I've actually not got that on the delay. I use it on the reverb. Let's move to the reverb. So that's, this is a setup exactly the same. It's saturated, it's a reverb, it's saturated, it's EQ'd. Um, <coughs> I actually have an exciter on this. It's being compressed to make it pump. And then this one is so that it actually goes back down to kind of zero again, just before the next one hits. So the actual kick sounds bigger. Obviously the kick is the kind of backbone of this kind of music, so that's that's it. That's how you make your sound, is with your kick. And that's how it sounds all together. Fucking massive. So this is the hardware setup that I'm currently using. Um, this is what I've used in the Garbage Snare set um, that's uh, on Saturday night. Um, so we've got 
This is a Behringer Neutron. I've got a Behringer TD3, uh, which obviously is the 303 clone. Electron uh, Digitact is, I think, how you actually pronounce that. And um, uh, Behringer 2600, and a little mixer that I've had for literally 15 years. Um, uh, and yeah, and I, I have a MIDI keyboard, and that's my innovative patch lead storage solution. The Digitact is the uh, like the brain that's controlling everything. Um, so I've got eight uh, sample channels. It's also then controlling the Neutron and the 2600. So I've got the Neutron just doing this kind of fairly simple um, saw wave bass sound. And I just have uh, like some different patterns that I can mute and unmute. similar um, on the 2600 um, and this is doing more of this kind of lead sound um, so it's a kind of sync lead so yeah though, so basically um, I just mute and unmute um, different parts um, I've obviously programmed program these patterns um, and then I have, I have a few different patterns that are just kind of, um, they basically just have different fills at the end of the loop. I have a pattern that is a kind of breakdown. Uh, and so this one's basically got a big reverb kick. This kind of breath. I think that literally is a sample of someone breathing. It's kind of weird horn. Clap. And a snare. And then I have another pattern that just has some different sounds. So it's a different kick. The other sounds are the same. Uh, well, no, this rhythmic thing is a bit different. Um, got this kind of stab sound that I do melody with and then just some slightly different rhythms um, and then when it's all together all is the TD3. I changed this knob because when you're doing this kind of performance it's right next to the tuning knob and I found that being able to just tell from feel whether it was the cutoff knob is really useful. Let's go in through the uh, gig attack to put some uh, delay on it. We've got a few different patterns on here. Let's And that's basically it for this setup. So as well as doing stuff in Ableton and doing stuff with the hardware, uh, I also design and build my own synths. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of those. So this one, this makes um, screechy drone noise. So this one, uh, this one makes screechy drone noise. This one. So this one makes um, screechy drone noise. It's got bits of hair stuck to it. It won't come off. So this one is a um, modular, um, a kind of modular synth that uh, I use for making screechy drone noise. So obviously there's something of a theme 
there like they're all noisy drone synths i do use them i, I perform i do noise drone performances with them and they're also they're not very musical but they're quite good for sampling weird noises out of uh to use in other stuff so yeah that was my studio tour i hope you enjoyed it and please buy my stuff from bandcamp so that i can afford synthesizers